Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel, Hair and Licency. If you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe to follow my second hair transplant progress journey, as well as video topics regarding current hair loss treatments in the pipelines. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my website, make sure to visit my website at hairlicency.com and check out some of the hair loss treatments involving micro needling, derm rollers, my DHT bucket shampoo, serum, supplements, and my 272 laser that I've kept. So before I get started, I want to apologize for all this echoing in the background. Um, this is typically not my normal video shooting setting. Normally it's done upstairs in the, one of the computer rooms. But the reason why it's echoing is because there's nothing in this house. Um, I actually sold the house and my settlement is tomorrow. So today is actually my last day that I'll be staying here. And I just figured that I would, you know, shoot you guys a video while I was here. But yeah, other than that, it's just busy, you know, just packing boxes, lifting things up. So a lot of, uh, you know, sore, sore legs and sore arms. I actually went to a, uh, a massage place that I normally frequent with my wife and, uh, she she ended up giving me this scalp massage and that's why I don't know if you guys can tell from this video I'll be approaching my day 30 uh, mark since my second hair transplant and I'm pretty sure that a lot of the hairs when she was rubbing the scalp to probably to stimulate blood flow um, but yeah I'll be doing an update for day 30 but as you guys can see there's a lot of hairs that's just been shedding and falling out and uh, that's funny because last month when I actually went to Vietnam, I also went to a lot of massage places, probably like twice a day. And a lot of places, they give you a lot of the scalp massages. And I kind of have to tell them that, you know, to watch out for the grass because I think it's, it was only like maybe like five or six days since I've gotten the procedure. So um, I wasn't really quite in the safe, you know, the safe zone yet. But today, it doesn't really matter. She can rub it as hard as she wants. Um, I might as well just want them all to fall out and then start growing in around my month three or uh, month four. But stay tuned. I'll be giving you guys an update for that. But lately, I've actually been getting a lot of uh, requests via email through a lot of the comments to cover the topic of something known as Regenera Activa Stem Cell Therapy for Treating Hair Loss. This is actually a Spanish-based company and it's a relatively new uh, treatment procedure where the scalp is injected with special suspension containing stem cells growth factors and progenitor cells that help stimulate resting hair growth. It also helps increase density on the scalp and it inhibits uh, hair loss while inducing new follicle formation. It sounds a lot like PRP where you actually get injected, you know, using your blood and your plasma, but instead of using blood and plasma, they actually use the DHD resistant areas, hair follicle derma papilla cells to trigger hair growth. So the process takes anywhere from, well, supposedly it takes anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes and they use local anesthesia and it's divided into three different uh, stages. The first one involves a collection of the samples from the back of the scalp, about one to three samples that are taken. And it's a relatively small procedure. They actually extract it out and the diameter measures about 2.5 millimeters. So it's not, it's not gonna cost too much scarring because you're only taking out like two or three extractions. But I do have to mention that 2.5 millimeters in diameter is about two and a half to three times the punch size of a typical FUE extraction. Uh, the samples are then going to be placed into a special centrifuge device where suspension containing stem cells, growth factors, and progenitor cells are isolated by mechanical processing and filtration for several minutes. And then they are mixed with a saline solution to be injected into the scalp to initiate the regenerative processes, including stimulating the blood vessel formation, repair process and regeneration of hair follicles. And apparently, you know, this procedure only needs to be done every two to three years. And on Regenera Activa's website, they also feature numerous scientific studies on the efficacy of the stem cell therapy. And it actually showed increased density and a small study where this procedure was used during a hair transplant procedure. And it showed that it actually helps aid in the healing process and helps with new hair growth and engraftment of transplanted hair. But overall, you know, this procedure has actually been uh, very well established in Singapore and in some European countries, and some even regarded as one of the best regenerative therapies for hair loss. And as far as prices, it actually ranges from various spectrums. Um, some places charge 1,200 euros to over 2,000 euros, which is equivalent to about a starting price of about, you know, 1,300 to $1,500 USD. And higher which really isn't that bad considering that you only need it you know once every two three years but you know it, it definitely adds up over time 
and it sounds like it's more of a maintenance type of procedure if you need it every couple of years. Other countries can charge upwards to $3,500 USD per treatment, so it's definitely not cheap, but you know, over time I feel that this treatment is definitely going to come down in cost, just how PRP used to be. There are several doctors in the US who are experimenting with it to see how much it improves hair growth. So over time, you know, like I said, we can expect this to possibly be used in conjunction with PRP or, or even replace it. They also claim that you can see initial results as early as one month, but then you should wait a few months to see better results. And they also claim that microscopically, they can observe a significant reduction of the number of miniaturized hair within one month. And then towards the fourth month, changes in quality and the number of strands with higher density can be seen. So obviously this is good news. You know, this doesn't really mean that it's going to uh, be beneficial for everybody. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, just like hair transplants, the ideal candidate for Regenera Activist Therapy is for both men and women who have early hair loss or early, early form of androgenic alopecia. If you guys are a Nord 5 and, you know, up or you're excessively balding, you may not be a good candidate, but if you guys have more of a minimal to moderate type of hair loss, you know, maybe under Nord 4, Nord 5, you may be a good candidate and this treatment may be worth a try. So let's go ahead and go over some before and after photos post treatment that I was actually able to find from various clinics online. One thing to note is that with any before and after photos um, that's posted on you know, different clinics and by doctors, they obviously are going to be selective and they, they're only going to post the best results. So take that with a grain of salt. And the other thing is, you know, this treatment is in its infancy, it's relatively new. And so I feel like more long-term studies should be done and this really isn't something that, that I feel like it's going to um, you know, cure baldness. But overall, most of the before and after photos look pretty impressive with good hair growth and density improvement. Like I said, the treatment is still in its you know, beginning stages uh, and it's relatively new, but it does show some promising results and I feel that it works way better than PRP and maybe if, if they actually did use it in conjunction with PRP, maybe it's going to be different. And the other good thing is that there are no side effects from this treatment since it is autologous, meaning that it's coming out of your own body and it seems to be a relatively effective treatment for maintenance based on the photos that we've seen. So cost definitely uh, you know, needs to come down, but since they are even more expensive than hair transplantation costs in some countries, like in Turkey, where you can get it for like 2,500, 3,000. But I definitely feel that it's something that you guys can take a look at. It's worth uh, possibly adding to your hair loss treatment regimen once the cost comes down. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on Regenera Activa and if you guys think that it's going to be worth it. If you guys have even tried it, let me know how the progress is going. Make sure to leave some comments and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.